But there is something interesting here to the citizen development um, um, uh, idea that uh, Bill's talking about. So, Bob, I think you've encapsulated this in talent enablement as a service. Can you tell us a little bit about that? Yeah. So, um, Reviture basically has two pillars to its business today. One is the uh, what we call the hire, train, deploy uh, function, which is uh, fits very nicely with the contingent workforce management pieces that you've been talking about, uh, Stephen. Uh, and then the other pillar is basically working on workforce transformation within the firm. So the upskilling element that, that you also alluded to uh, in your slide. So uh, just to give you an idea of the scale of what we do, um, we had 200,000 applicants uh, to the firm last year. Uh, we accepted about 2% of that group and deployed them uh, to our enterprise clients in a variety of different technologies, including UiPath. And, and so when you think about citizen developers, low code development, it really has democratized the career paths for folks who uh, may not have a software engineering background, but who have the, all the ability, motivation, grit, aptitude to, uh, to, to perform very well in those jobs. And quite frankly, there's a tremendous amount uh, to support the ongoing growth of, you know, automation uh, and, and a variety of other enterprise technologies out there. Um, we have uh, we deployed 12,000 software engineers into enterprises uh, throughout uh, the country, um, and um, we have a, a very significant presence in the financial services space. We serve seven of the top 10 banks today, and really uh, the reason being that, that they're all going through massive digital transformation. So we, we provide a recruitment element. Um, we provide a, a pre-training element, which really, I think, uh, opens the aperture of our recruiting capability. Uh, to folks that, um, you know, may not think of themselves as being job ready uh, in the technology space. And then we have a training element that really is the secret sauce. Uh, and the training is, as you'll see in this case study with BNY Mellon, is very practical. It's not academic. It's focused on what does day one job readiness look like? Uh, for a Reviture associate when they land within these teams, these technology teams. Um, and then within the talent transformation space, which really is upskilling, um, we, we provide a continuous enablement. Um, and and as, as I'm sure a lot of the firms that are represented in this call, there's a, there's a tremendous um, initiative within a lot of our clients to really focus on talent mobility. Um, how do we, to Bill's point earlier, you know, it's not about eliminating jobs. It's about upskilling folks to perform new functions that ultimately make the, the firm uh, more efficient. Um, so that's, those are the, basically, that's the journey, I think, that um, that we followed in this particular circumstance, um, this particular case study. And um, it fit very nicely uh, with all the elements of Reviture's capabilities. Um, so, um, you know, that's, that's, that's basically a talent enablement as a service in a nutshell. 